team that's fought through injuries and illness. They, they look tonight from the drop of the puck like a tired team mentally, physically. As a coach, you have to be part of a psychologist sometimes. How do you get them back where they need to be? Yeah, I, I, I would agree with that. I thought just in the beginning of the game, we just uh, we didn't have legs. We didn't have good execution, you know, uh, didn't win many puck battles. Uh, so that's you know that's part of the part of the process now is what what's we got to figure out the right plan between now and and uh, five o'clock on Monday to to rejuvenate you know mentally physically and make sure that we we have a better performance. What's most concerning to you right now, John? Um, that's I wouldn't say there's one thing that's that's really concerning. I think it's just you know uh, it wasn't a good performance tonight. So I think it's you know we got to. You know, I'll talk with some guys after the game, and you get you get you know some feedback and solutions. It's got to be solution based on um, you know where we're at you know in their minds as the, as the players physically and mentally, and you know you talk with the medical staff and those things like that. But just in general, like we got to get our game in order. But that starts with playing a, a skating game, being competitive in your puck battles, and you know being engaged. Um, and tonight we didn't have that. John, how would you assess the defensive capabilities right now and where your team is at? Defensively, especially in tonight's game, one you know, there were a lot of kind of breakdowns that allowed a couple of schools. Where do you think the team's at? Yeah, I think that it's. Uh, I mean, I think there's some things that have to be tightened up for sure, um, and that's some of those are tactically, but some of them are you know mental mistakes. Um, so that's that's where it goes back to you. You know, you're. We all know it wasn't it wasn't a good performance tonight, but I think it's not for us. It's not a situation where you have to overreact. You have to you have to figure out what it is, why it happened. Some of that is, you know, through video and you break those things down. But the other part is you got to figure out what's going on with, with, you know, individual players or why was that performance like that. And, um, you know, that's what we're doing now. Disappointing because it seems like yesterday you guys took one step forward and then today seems to be two steps back and you were looking for such a strong response after yesterday's performance. Yeah, for sure. I mean, like last night we played fast. We executed with the puck well. We played more of the game that we wanted to be able to play. As I said last night, we had a couple of um, breakdowns at, at key times, but then tonight we didn't have any of it. I've been getting Kirill and Philip back, some fresh bodies. Um, how do you assess their returns? And did they look like they had played seven games? Well, I think it's tough. You know, it's when you have an injury like that that both of those guys have had, and they've been out for for a long time. And you know, the unfortunate part this time of year is, particularly for guys coming back, is. They do their best, and and you try to put them in in situations that simulate what is going to happen in the game. But when you very rarely practice because of the game schedule, that you don't have those situations, you know, game like situations in practice, particularly for a goalie when there's screens and hard tips and rebounds, and you got to fight for your ice and fight for uh, finding those those shot lanes. And then even for the, you know, for the guys coming back, it's it's. You got to get up to speed, and then you're coming in at this point in the in the season. Whether it's been a couple of weeks off, you got to find a way to get uh, get going, and that's something that. But I think with both of them coming back, it was great to have them back in the lineup. But our team performance wasn't close to what it needed to be. It feels like you guys are always chasing it, especially in the beginning of the game. You're having to kind of fight back from behind a little bit. Like how much does that wear on you guys? And is that a model that you can kind of can succeed succeed with? You know. Going. Yeah, I mean, you don't want to you don't want to chase games. That's not the right recipe to win. Um, you know, lately we've been doing that quite a bit. You know, but there were times since we've been together where we had to lead quite a bit. Um, so it's now it's finding those solutions again. Is it? Um, you know, tonight in particular, if we're talking about tonight, it got a little. You know, you, you're down by three pretty early in the game. So that's a you know that's a hill you got to climb out of. But it's also if you're doing that regularly, that's 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 tough. Chance at redemption on Monday, then. I mean, you guys don't have much time in between to ever wallow over a loss like this. Yeah, you know, as I said, I think that, I mean that's that that's the focus. I think it's it's not it's not just blowing by it. It's like like I said, I think we got to you know talk to some guys after the game and you know see where we're at, make the best decision that we feel is good for the group tomorrow and Monday, and then get ourselves ready to play a game. Confidence can mean the world for a team or a player. I know Kirill mentioned getting the joy back in their game, the joy back in the process of getting better. Where is a team collectively, mentally, as a group, as you sense just from talking to them and kind of being around them in the stretch? Yeah, I mean, I think the I think the group's good. It's just uh, like anything, you're you know they have pride. They want to we we want to perform better. We want to win more. 
Um, but confidence is, you know, you just can't go to the drugstore and get, get confidence. Like confidence is built through your preparation. It's built through your performance. It's, uh, it, it, it's part of what, what this is about that, um, you know, the joy back in the game comes from playing well. And what's the process to get us to play, to play better? What do we all have to do better players, the coaches to make sure that, uh, that game is where it needs to be, where we, you know, our hard team to play against, we win. Um, and that's all part of it, but it's not just going to come. You gotta, you have to be willing to, uh, figure it out. And then you gotta be willing to perform. Did you have a, the meeting after the game, was that an everybody meeting or a players meeting? No, it was just the players. Thanks coach. Thank you guys good? All right. Thanks.